With more on this dire forecast, I'm joined by Jennifer Turner. She's director of the China Environment Forum at the Woodrow Wilson Center. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. So extreme weather, uh, extreme events. Do you think that rainy seasons have actually gotten worse in China, or is this just part of another cycle? Well, it does appear that the rain, it has gotten worse. I mean, everyone that you talk to, I mean, there's the anecdotes, of course, but scientists are saying, yes, it's, it's getting much worse over the years. I mean, you mentioned last year, it was in July, north, south China, a lot of storms. Um, in fact, in Wuhan, you know, they said it wasn't just because of the rain, it was also because the cities hadn't been investing in stormwater runoff, and a lot of the, the lakes and wetlands had been filled in, and so it made the city very vulnerable to any kind of rain. And so while the weather may be getting worse, the cities aren't really doing enough to protect themselves from that rain. So we're seeing some warnings, some forecasting already. What else do you think needs to be done ahead of this projected catastrophic flooding? Well, just this year in, in Zhejiang province, I think it was Pingyang County, there was a, there was a typhoon, 30,000 people affected. And when I read the stories, it was really fascinating because how the public dealt with this, they said, well, on the first floor, we don't live there. We don't keep anything important there. We, we kind of move up to the second floor when, when, the, when the rains come. And that's not really a good strategy for the long run. And you think that, that these cities along the coast, Shanghai, in another 30 years, that there might be a sea level go up six inches. And 75% and of the city is going to be increasingly vulnerable to the floods. And so you have these Shanghai and also Beijing up in the north, these big cement cities. And when it rains, you get massive flash floods. Do you remember back in 2016 where 37 people died in downtown DC from a rainstorm? Right? It was a serious rainstorm, but it shows you that the cities aren't yet equipped sufficiently to kind of deal with this rain. So they are investing in more you know, green, you know, greening the city so they can soak up the rain. And, and they just have to be prepared because the sponge cities. The sponge cities. Yes, yeah, that's my favorite <laughs> slogan these days. But it's, it's tough because these are huge cities and there's a lot of cement. And, and the rain is only going to get worse. But then droughts as well. In, you know, in North China, I mean, that it's the standard it is that, you know, North China's dry. And, and yes, maybe climate change is making it worse. But the fact is that you have these huge cities, a lot of agriculture, a lot of coal development that's already Putting, putting the groundwater and surface water at a very tipping point kind of stage. You turn up the volume with a little bit more of that climate change, it's a crisis. Well, you mentioned that climate change very quickly, uh, something that's very important to China, also the United States. Uh, we had this meeting with President yes, Xi Jinping and Trump in Florida. No stranger to catastrophic weather, no. hurricanes all the time. Do you think that could come up during this summit? Well, when you think of it, for the, for the past... Quick history, for the past 40 years, energy, environment, and climate issues have been a major talking point in an area of cooperation between the US and China. And so it's been, it's been an area where we've had regular conversations, projects that are of mutual interest to each other. And I think that, that that's really valuable, because the two countries, we don't always agree on things. I think your previous story is talking about all the crises that, we, that the Trump and Xi are going to have to talk about. But this area, like, like climate cooperation, you know, it, it, it could be something that, that could kind of continue to build that kind of goodwill. Think of Florida, um, Southeast Florida, in, in, in Palm Beach, where, where the meeting's taking place, three counties surrounding it. They've been working together for the past eight years on, on, on how they can adapt to climate change, working with businesses, with government, with communities. And so I think it's a, it's a fabulous model of multi-stakeholder cooperation, which we're really good at here in the United States, to share with their Chinese counterparts. We'll to see if it comes up on the agenda. We will indeed. Jennifer Turner, as always, we appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you so much.